Go West, Young Man is actually a quote from Horace Greeley, the founder of Greeley, Colorado, which is the town that we randomly named our band after. <laughs> when I was a kid, like some of the music that, that I had heard growing up too, this guy Michael Lee Smith, he, uh, he had a type of um, album called Go West, Young Man, and on one of the songs it said, Go West, Young Man, Let the Evil Go East. You know, and it's he like, was our inspiration yeah, for the album. Yeah, we so. want to be Michael Lee Smith. Check <laughs> yeah. him out and you will see. Uh, we, we really like that title. and. Um, I don't know, it just has a different feel from anything we've ever done before and, and we came into it just wanting to, for the first time since we've been a band, trying to like capture the live show and uh, that's something we've always had a hard time with. I think most bands have a hard time with that. Everyone's always kind of told us like, oh, your CDs are never as heavy as as your live show. And hopefully they can like really picture like the live show and stuff and really just feel like the energy that we put into it and come across with them and like have them get excited. I think and one cool, really cool thing that most labels would never let a band do is like science totally let us just like, they left us alone for like six months. The whole album all around is just a lot more upbeat and just more fun all around. So I think we definitely did that with this record for sure. And that's something we really wanted to try. Like we want to try to go out of our box like from anything we've ever done. And our first album is like all love songs. You know, or whatever, some relationship songs. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think everything on this record was written way out of our comfort zone, so we actually had to like really, like for me personally, like there were things on there that I'm not comfortable playing, you know, but now I am. It just pushed us but, in every way. Like you know? to the max, like so we really like were forced, we wrote things, you know, like digitally and stuff too, like, you know, like the drum parts were written out on Pro Tools and stuff, you know, just write the most ridiculous extreme things, then I have to learn how to play them and then add to that on top of that, so it was just push to the max. Yeah, right? I just, but now it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially like in the in in the writing process, I just wanted to push everybody, not only myself, uh, just like in every way, like even really push, push even push Ryan, yeah, yeah. Push, push Ryan as far as vocally, and I would write like the most ridiculous like chord progression and be like, okay, here you go, dude, try to write, try to write vocals over that, and uh, he did, you know, obviously, I I think he did a great job. I think yeah, the record is definitely a lot heavier than anything we've done. The first two videos that we're doing, uh, one's called Blue Morning, and that song I wrote after seeing the movie 28 Weeks Later, and it's just like, I like zombie movies, and I just thought about that movie the whole time when I was writing it. And uh, we're actually going to watch it that. Mm. We're going to go eat people tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I think Blue Morning is really cool because you can picture like zombies and monsters and stuff like that. I love yeah, like that. that's what I was going to say. I think like, that's the, sick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as long as you turn it down a little bit, I can at least tell the neighbors. For sure. You're going to turn it down a little bit. Well, I'm certainly not here to stifle the artists. Yeah, yeah we got Warp Tour 08 coming up. Um, that we'll be there shortly the entire after. Tour. Yeah, we'll do the whole thing. Warp tour yeah. on the Hurley stage, suckers. To our fans, yeah. Thanks for the support. I want to look at each one of you <laughs> in the eyeball. Please don't remember this. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you soon.